Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor of the Tenkar's Tavern blog. Listen, we got a lot of things happening here at the uh, Tenkar's Tavern. The Tavern, as I often call it, uh, for 2024. If you want to join the team, be a minion, there's a link on the bottom of the screen that you can uh, use to support this channel. It's $1.99 a month, ain't it? It ain't that bad. Otherwise, hey, we'll take your subscribe subscription. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. Like, you know, you know the thing. So, James Louder. James Louder, uh, for those who don't know, uh, direct, they say direct, this is from Enworld, directed various lines for TSR in the 80s and 90s. He was um, like the fiction editor and uh, put together a lot of uh, compilation uh, fiction books and short stories. And I remember James's name popping up a lot. And he's been pretty uh, prolific on Facebook when it comes to talking about stuff that's going on in the gaming industry. And he said, um, it feels that it's a second golden age for game design and variety. I'm, I guess you can have a second golden age. And he commented on Watsi's Wizards of the Coast possible plans for a digital first edition of D&D. This is what I have heard. This is what myself, Bad Mike, <clears throat> others have been talking about, I don't know, since early 2023. If Hasbro, Watsi, tries to make the new edition... Now, technically, it's not a new edition. Let's just uh, clear that up. Technically, it is uh, the same engine. They're just changing the chassis. All right? So it's still going to be powered by 5E. But the power curves are going to change for the character classes and all that stuff. But if Hasbro slash Watsi tries to make this or make try to make the new edition a subscription based highly monetized walled garden. So let's take this and there's a lot more to say about it. With radically increased direct to consumer sales, they will likely blight the market and the hobby. All right, so let's take this bit by bit. Subscription based. We already know that that's their plan, right? This VTT is not going to be free. They don't have hundreds of programmers working on a VTT. They don't plan on being a billion-dollar IP for Hasbro, meaning the D&D brand, without going subscription-based for the VTT. Now, we also know, uh, th thanks to Cynthia Williams, that D&D players are under-monetized that the DM carries the bulk of the monetization. D&D players often don't pay for anything. Not even Fritos and uh, what? Uh, what, what what's, that? What's, that, what's that soda? Mountain Dew. There you go. Um, not even throwback Mountain Dew with the real sugar. Uh, it's under-monetized. Okay. Radically increase direct to consumer sales. Well, if you go digital, you're going direct to consumers. But we've already seen with the new pre orders that you can only pre order as a bundle. And the bundle includes, oh, that's right, a DD Beyond version of whatever you're buying, literally sending you to DD Beyond. There's a subscription service. For many, and it's going to be, I'm sure, for anyone who wants to use the VTT. Okay. Highly monetized walled garden. They want you in this walled garden. They don't want you seeing other games. They don't want you being tempted by Call of Cthulhu or RuneQuest or MCDM or any of the OSR games out there, right? Shadow Dark, bad, bad. That's money that should be ours. We, we we told you that with the new OGL that was we both we everybody won. You you didn't win. We won. You telling us we're a bunch of assholes and greedy fucks. 
but we no, that was that was making us winners. No, no, this is just a pivot. It's just a pivot. That highly monetized world garden, my suspicion, from what I've been hearing, I'm probably more right than wrong. My suspicion is again, just like uh, when 5e got released, uh, 5e 2024 is not going to release with the new OGL and new SRD. You can still play your old 5e, but if you want to play with the new rules and you want to write material with the new rules, you're going to have to do it within their own walled garden. I don't know if the DM's Guild is going to make a move to be part of uh, D&D Beyond or if D&D Beyond is going to make a new equivalent of DM's Guild. I don't know what the, the contract is between uh, Drive Through RPG slash Roll20. Remember, Drive Through is also Roll20, and that's competition with Watsi and their new VTT. So if you think that's all going to play out nicely between everybody and everybody's going to be happy, happy, nicey, nice, you're living in a fantasy world. You're a D&D player. You already do that a couple of hours a week, but no, that ain't happening. With radically increased direct-to-consumer sales. By the way, we also saw that they uh, aren't – they're going to distribute their own right now to, uh, I guess, hobbies, shops, and stuff. Uh, or at least bookstores. They lost. They lost their random house rep. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. They will likely blight the market and the hobby, and this is likely to happen whether they succeed or fail. Again, what we will consider a failure of Watsi, they might still consider a success. They could lose half their tabletop meat space, pen and paper. RPG market share and yet gain this new VTT world garden market share as long as their profit margins and their profitability is increased, they're considering it a win. They're considered it a success. So this kind of move will roll back the overall audience for everyone. Certainly there's people that you're not going to get. People that are going to be fed up with 5e are going to just leave the hobby. And these are players that could have picked up other games. Some of them will. Many of them won't. And could well remove RPGs from many stores that rely on D&D sales in order to justify devoting the shelf space to RPGs. Again, Hasbro, Watsi, is not going to see that as a failure. Because they want these people at the computer, their phone, their tablet, playing in their world garden. And they are willing to, once they put the rules for 5e into Creative Commons, you knew, or should have known, they were talking about giving up the actual tabletop and said, we're going to embrace the virtual tabletop with our not quite new set of rules, but they're going to be new rules and you should buy them. Uh, D&D Forever, right? The Forever D&D. So it's it's refreshing to see somebody like James pretty much, uh, probably not purposely. I don't know if James follows me that closely. We are friends on Facebook. He has commented on some of my posts. But James certainly thinks along the same lines that myself and other pundits within our community have been parsing the evidence as we see it. So... Let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts. And if you want to be a minion, there's a link on the bottom of the screen. I, we, we can always use the support. All right, folks. On that note, oh, live stream tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Don't ask me about guests. I have no clue. Um, be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. Uh, back again tomorrow. I'll catch you then. <laughs>